Welcome, my name is David Paul. Let me play the music that we're going to pray and meditate with today. Okay, it's eight measures. Uh, the sheet music, which you see here, is available when you join my newsletter. I send it out once a week with this video and a practice uh, MP3, so you can play along with it. The playing along with it is a great place to start if you're wanting to learn to pray and meditate with music. So. As an example, let me pull up the guitar and show you how to play along with this even if you know just five notes. It goes on, it goes on. When I speak of praying and meditating, what I'm really talking about is the intention that you bring to your playing as you do. As you become a more accomplished musician, one of the goals that I have for those who study with me is that they could do this on their own. And it has an improvisation part of it where you're making it up as you go along. So that takes a little bit of getting used to, especially if you've been a note reader most of your life. Why do we come off the page? Well, if you're not worried about the right or the wrong notes, and you're not even concerned about the chord chart, what happens is that your attention can go toward the pray, praying part right? The praying part. So as a one more example before we dig into how this works, if I were to go to the piano, I could take sort of the idea of what started, but I would very quickly come off of it. And then I'm really not planning the next thing that I'm going to do. But it's going to fall into one key and the regular chords that fit into that key. And then I'm really starting to listen to where the piece wants to go and to uh, use the intention of it as a prayer. Okay. And that can go on, right? A lot of people, they'll come home from work, they're all stressed out, 
and they'll turn on music to relax. So the music is coming from outside of them and it really can make a huge difference. People use music for that all the time. When I was coming up, I played in a symphony and one of the things about playing in a symphony is that every once in a while you get that soul chill up and down the spine. It's the most inspiring thing. It, it, it spurs you on for years sometimes. Got very curious about it because when I started the Tai Chi Gong exercises, that soul chill came sooner, longer, you know, three, four times a week, then three, four times a day. And I got very curious about how that worked. And then as I was performing my own music, had some people who could see angels telling me, do you realize, you know, how many angels are around you when you play? And over the past 30 years, what's happened is that I've come up with a way of helping people learn how to do that. So we have to kind of come off the page. Uh, if you're a note reader, it's fine. You can. I have the chord chart for you. If you're just a beginning musician, you really don't have to read the notes to get it done. However, as a former professional full-time symphony violinist, I do know that the technique is important. In other words, you want to be able to be fluent in what you say, and the more fluent you are, the more you can express yourself, and eventually the soul connection can happen. And uh, so to facilitate that, I've put it together in four very simple steps, and they stay the same. And on the website, if you want to run through it, there's a 36-song, 12-lesson course you can move yourself through. And then we have live classes as well once a week for each of the instruments. So piano, for violin, for guitar. And um, I also w work with private students as well. So let me show you, if you were just a beginning musician, how to get started and sort of what's behind building the foundation so you can turn your attention uh, toward prayer. If I go back to the guitar for a second, the song that we have is in D major. And in D major, the first five notes of the D scale with open D, the second fret, is E, the fourth fret F sharp, then open G and A. So we're going to work with those five notes for now. If you're a more advanced player, you play the whole scale. And if you're an even more advanced player than that, you can expand it to two octaves, which gives you much more expressive ability. So it's this five note thing is not the end of the road, but it helps people get started. So one of the most powerful things for developing technique for me uh, came when I become aware of uh, Carmine Caruso calisthenics for horn, and I adapted the basic principle. So in a nutshell, what we learn to do is we learn to play slowly, and then we learn to play twice as fast. That's a way simplification of it, but for today it'll work. So we're going to play half notes, up the five notes and down, and then we're going to play quarter notes, up the five notes and down. And it would go like this. One, two, here we go. T Make sense? So that's our vocabulary, and then we want to create words. So came up with something that I used when I was working with preschool kids. We did this echo thing. So I'd sing a few notes, and they would sing back to me. It's the way that they learn very uh, quickly. And you can do it in music as well. It's very efficient. And when you're working on your own, you create a group of three or four new notes, and then you echo, create three or four more new notes and echo. Okay, so that's it's kind of like how the name sounds. So an example of that. And then you echo. An 
an echo. A little fancier. All right? So that's a, actually a very important part because grouping the notes together starts to give you the flow. The third step is in one way of describing, I call it a jam. You're, you're making it up as you go along. Instead of repeating the echo, you just put them one after another. So you used to, you use um, those five notes and just go up and down and stop and long notes and repeats and stuff like that. And when you do a little bit of that and gain a little bit of fluency, then you take it over, you know, in the practice thing here. Right? Right? And so uh, three, four days in a row, and you'd be surprised at what happens. So it's, I'm going to, as a classical musician, this can sound a little weird. You're not overly concerned about what notes you're playing. It's important that they're in rhythm in time and that they more or less fall into the same key. But what you're really turning your attention to is the expression part. And what I learned over the years working with the angels is that when you focus in, in, with a pure heart, I mean, you can, be, you can be of any faith, any religion. When you focus on the divine with a pure heart, the angels, they get all excited because they can help magnify what it is that you're doing. And it takes a bit of practice. But this is a real quick way to do it. And so for me, I was trying to think, well, what can I, what are my two cents for adding to how musicians do their thing? And I realized that to, to a great extent, music uh, has kind of left God out of the picture. And even music that's religious is sometimes left God out of the picture. You know, how, how do you bridge the gap so that your experience when you're when you're playing is really becomes a spiritual experience and the way that this all started and really the only reason that i am here today after these 30 plus years of doing this is because i started doing the tai chi gong exercises which help bring that soul energy into the physical body it was started by Lao Tzu over 3,000 years ago. And um, through the breath and movement connecting to nature, you really start to connect the life force, the chi, the energy, with the physical body. And then it, it moves into almost anything that you would choose to do, whether it's art or dance or, in my case, music. Uh, creative writing, relationships, business. It's been really spectacular. So um, if you visit the school for creative music.com and you get really excited about doing it, what I do is I give $15 off for those who become a member of the Circle of Chi, which is the community of Tai Chi Gong. And so it's a wash. Basically, if it's um, you're doing the group live class, I take 15 bucks off and you're a $15 member over on Circle of Chi. So you get the live classes and the training and you essentially can get there a lot quicker because you're taking advantage of all the things that I had available to me as well. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Enjoy your day.